Hey everyone, Sandeep here and today in this video as I promised I'll be bringing Accenture interview video series. So this is the Accenture interview questions that have been asked in my technical round. I gave Accenture interview around uh, around three to four weeks back, uh, the technical round itself. Uh, so I'll be sharing before starting. It's for React developer profile as I'm a front-end developer and the experience level was 2.5 to 4 years of experience. So there was a total of three rounds actually so the hr round is still left for me i don't know why the hr like in the portal it shows that i have completed all the round but the hr is not calling me that i and they don't even pick up calls that is the weirdest thing about i don't know about accenture they don't the hr doesn't pick up any calls so yeah apart from that the online mcq questions was like 30 mcq questions uh, if your domain is like for my domain is react, which is front-end developer, you'll get questions based on react, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, it's 30 basic and easy questions. If you have concept clear, you can easily answer those. I'll not be, I'll not be sharing those questions because it's very hard to remember whatever the 30 questions was. The second uh, round was the technical round, which is one hour, which I will be sharing my questions on. So the second one was technical. So interview asked me a brief detail about myself and what is the job role that I do basically in the company, the current company I work with. And after that, he started with what is basically a JavaScript and how does your like browser understand your code? Let's say you write some code in your file, how your browser parses the code, JavaScript code in a browser language that the browser will only understand. So you need to explain in certain ways so that the interview will understand. I have explained in like a, a bit detail and it interview was quite satisfied with the answer after that he asked me about it can you explain event loop in js this is a very famous question you'll get a ton of answers for event loop in youtube so you can just search it up the output coding question like he asked me was one plus uh one plus one is a number and addition of string of two what will be the output and spread of a string then object triple equals to object and object double equals to object and every and everything he was asking and i was answering on the output questions he was expecting me to he was expecting me to like uh, explain why it is happening and why i am telling that answer so you have to have that logic so number fourth one yeah, like can you, he asked me can you iterate over a string i said yes we can do just like an array Number fifth, it's like you asked me about type of array, type of null and undefined. And there are some few co more questions attached to this type of, but I don't exactly remember everything. Whatever I remember, I have shared. The, 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 after the sixth one, he was asking me about primitive and non-primitive data type in JS. Can you explain me a bit? He was asking me something along that line. The seventh one was difference between null and undefined. Again, we needed to briefly explain why, what is null and what is undefined and what are the difference between those. So the eighth one, he asked me about what is currying function with an example and how it can be helpful. Generally in general question they are faced in interviews, they will ask me what is currying function and give an example. Uh, so this interviewer asked me currying function and on top of that, he asked me about like how it can be helpful in your real life situation where you are coding it uh, where you are coding an application and for a function you need a current function so how it can be helpful so actually i did i did uh, like practice this uh, and i did use current method uh, in my current company where i'm the code base that i'm currently working with but previously i didn't know what is uh, I have used this, but I didn't know that that method is called a cutting function. But uh, after using, I knew that this is a cutting function. So I have hands-on experience on cutting closures. So yeah, so if you don't have a hands-on experience, I prefer you to see some examples and try to understand how it can uh, relate to a real life example, because in many interviews, they can ask you how it can be helpful and it can relate to a real life scenarios. So that is that this was the first set. And the second, and the second set, the question was, he asked me about, can you, in, reverse a string i did reverse a string using dot reverse method and he was like no you can't use in build methods you need to reverse it with using loops so i did it i reverse a string using for loop method now the next one he was asking me explain react lifecycle methods i explained all the react lifecycle method in detail what is pure component and explain that i also did uh, 12th one was like how do you imp uh, like implement pure component in hooks you can say in hooks for hooks we don't have as such pure components so you have hooks called uh, you can use something called use memo and uh, you know like react.memo these two will act as a kind of a pure component over there 
Number 13, hooks I have used and explained them. So all of the hooks, he will ask me like, what are the hooks that you've used in your project? I uh, said all the hooks that I've used and he, he said me to explain one by one, whatever the hooks that I've used. Uh, then when is unmounting of a component? Like It's like when he was asking me, what is unmounting of a component and when it is required? So you, you should know about this. Redux workflow and some basic Redux question. Not Nothing special on that. And the other thing was, what is the use of Redux thunk? Since I used Redux thunk, I was able to answer that. He asked me about Redux Saga as well, but I never used Re Redux Saga, so I couldn't answer, but I said I have used Redux thunk. So he said me to explain the workflow of the Redux thunk and why we need it. So this was, this was pretty much all the question. There may be few questions left out here and there, I don't exactly remember all of them, but these were the questions that I noted down after the interview. Uh, so I'm bringing this video up for you guys. So you can practice all these questions. And previously in my video also, I uploaded many sets of questions like Capgemini, DCS and Mindtree. You can practice all those before appearing for an interview. It will really help you to crack those interviews. The third round was the HR round. After one hour or so, I got a mail that I got like I cleared that round and I will be taking the HR round. But unfortunately, the HR is not even calling me and I, the contact POC is still not like picking up my call. So here I am helpless. So I don't know what to do. So HR round is still left. So you can say. So that's that. This is Accenture, big company. But yeah, it is what it is. I won't complain. So yeah, so these were the questions set up, guys. Um, if you are paying for an interview, uh, do practice all these questions. Try to solve them or look up in Google and understand their concept. I hope it will really help you and, and help you to crack your next interview. If you like my channel and want me to upload more of my interview series videos that I've given, uh, do like, subscribe, and comment down if you have any issues. Thank you so much.